welcome back to Deliver Us The Moon. I'm sorry for such a abrupt end last time, but apparently I ran out of uh, disk space. <laughs> space. So, yeah. But we are back, we are back to the moon. Moon surface. And we are going to the next transmitter tower. Oh, we can also toggle lights on the rover here. I can see this I was looking for the earth, but I'm not quite sure where it can be right now. and easy now nice and easy nice and easy come on, come on. okay in we go And here we need you, little one. You see this? Oops. Of course, guys, screwed it up. Thank you. Come on. I think the dog is quiet now. Who would have known that they had dogs on the moon? Yeah. Oh, good job, good job, Batman, good job. We are already here. I think it, yeah, it's behind us. Why would you change it so much? I wonder. Oh, I think that's another tower? I appreciate you dropping me off at the exit. I really do. Hey, I got you out there. God, I hope that's true. We saw what happened at Pearson. I thought you were... But just now, we detected activity in the MPT network. We haven't seen that in years. It seems to have been a local power transmission, isolated from the power source at the Tombo facility. Something must be wrong at the reactor there. Tombo isn't close, though. Traveling by foot would be suicide. Perhaps you can find another means of transportation inside Moon Hub. Vacation, I hope I will. 
Isn't that enough for the means of transportation for us? Really, we need something else. We have our own oxygen supply in here. So can we run diagnostics now? Copernicus mm, Moon have offline connection to MPT network. No, not no incoming MPT signal. Diagnosis MPT at Tombow reactor facility. Moonray to Tombow facility offline. Hmm. Power systems activating. It seems we have another bit of history over here. Show me what happened. Today, today we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tombo facility have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends, colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their lives for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we can never sustain. We used to call it home. Our pale blue dot. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest. The smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to live and risk greatness. Start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision, and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity, and it dawns today. You're a goddamn traitor. Humanity's future. At what cost, William? We're saving the species so we can start again. If this is what it takes for humanity to survive, I'll gladly take responsibility. There you are, Johansson. Without your help, this wouldn't have been possible. Isaac? This was not the agreement. You know that. We need to get the MPT back online. Be realistic, Rosa. Even if we ever manage to provide Earth with all the power it needs, what do we truly gain? 
More time to see oceans and deserts taking our homes. William, I've done my part. Let's just go. I'm done with this mess. You heard the man? Let's go. Our work begins. Well, you could have given the others more time to evacuate of the planet. You just didn't, didn't care about them. They were light years away, so why bother? Right. Decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor it's supposed to power? Of course I do. It's just the just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance, and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1, to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the NPT's failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex? and recording. We really couldn't get here. In the rover? Really? It would have been a lot quicker. No, oh, don't, you don't need to hide. You are not the one who attacked her. Let's try and the other one was two zero four zero. No. Hmm? Space tech. Helium on the moon, essential to humanity's survival on Earth. Portrait of a pioneer science and sacrifices. Uh, in this summer edition, we sit down with pioneering architect and Lunar Council member Dr. Isaac Johansson to highlight the many obstacles and triumphs of developing the MPT. <laughs> All Copernicus 1 colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank! Did you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? 
Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Jumbo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the council when all colonists arrive at Moonhub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moonhub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. So this is how it started. on that take note what a shame hmm? no uh no that's not this one Station engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombow alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. Okay, I can see where we need that. Hopefully, unfortunately. Come on. Go forward. <laughs> it will go up there? No, it won't go up there. It won't go on that platform either. Come on. Yeah, maybe we don't need it on that platform. Precisely. I don't know. That will open another hatch for me, won't it? Okay. Where am I? Hmm. As I thought, you cannot hack anything. Oh, we are back. Okay, we are back at the beginning. So what is this really? Okay, this is the way we came. Ok, 
Okay, maybe we don't need it just yet. Can you see some big numbers? 1881. Everything alright over at Rainhold. You asked me to let you know when MacArthur and Johansson would travel down to Tombow again. They just passed the station and should be at Tombow soon. Hope this helps whatever it is you're trying to do. Frank. Frank, it's good. Very good. There is a pattern and I'm close to bringing it to light. I just need some final answers. Thanks. Edgar. Okay, Edgar, good luck. Frank, it's happening. I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tombow. One's headed to Hugin's, uh, and the other two are going to Moonhub. The first Moonhub train should arrive at your station soon enough, but the second won't until I get some answers. This is the fir This is the key, Frank. The key to understanding what the council has been planning for so long. I'm close. So be the code for the monorail. Mm -hmm. Open monorail door. That's a maintenance check. Unlock maintenance. Thank you. Powerful ab and abundantly present on the moon, Helium-3 was considered to be the key to solving humanity's energy crisis. As it is both harvested and processed on the Tombow facility grounds, moving this resource away from the Tombow reactor is rarely allowed by the Lunar Council. Alright, and I think this will be a good place to end this part after we listen to this. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Moonhub. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tombaugh evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Yes, sir. Okay, so this is gonna be it for today. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.